Mastering the Magic of Second Conditional in English. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our exciting journey of learning English. Today, we are going to delve deeper into the world of conditionals, more specifically, the second conditional. We are going to focus on a vital part of language learning, which is sentence transformation. By mastering this, you'll be able to communicate your thoughts more flexibly and creatively. So, buckle up and let's dive in. Let's start by refreshing our understanding of the second conditional. The second conditional, also known as the unreal conditional, is used to talk about hypothetical or unreal situations in the present or future. The structure is, if, plus past simple, would, plus verb, base form. For example, if I had a million dollars, I would buy a mansion. Sentence transformation is a powerful tool for improving your English. It involves changing the form of a sentence without changing its meaning. For example, without a million dollars, I can't buy a mansion. Here, we have kept the same meaning but changed the sentence's form. Understanding how to do this with the second conditional will make your English sound more fluid and natural. Now, let's dive into some practice exercises to help you master transforming sentences into the second conditional. 1. If I were you, I would take the job offer. Can be transformed to, were I you, the job offer would be taken. 2. If he studied harder, he would pass the exam. Can be transformed to, with more study, the exam would be passed. 3. If they had more time, they would finish the project. Can be transformed to, given more time, the project would be finished. Remember, the goal is to keep the meaning the same while changing the form of the sentence. To consolidate your understanding, let's go through a quick quiz. Try to transform these sentences into the second conditional. 1. She can't go to the party without an invitation. 2. I can't buy the car unless I save more money. 3. They won't win the match unless they practice hard. Share your answers in the comments section and we'll provide feedback on your transformations. And that's a wrap for today. We hope this video on second conditional sentence transformations has been helpful and enlightening. Remember, practice is the key to mastering any language, so keep practicing these transformations. If you found this video useful, do like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more English language learning resources. Until next time, keep learning, and happy studying!